Hi Virgo and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from October 30th to November 5th. Before I get started with the reading, uh, how are you all? And how were you feeling during the eclipses that we had in the month of October? So uh, the one that said this was the solar eclipse in Libra and the lunar eclipse that we have uh, that we had also in uh, Taurus. And if you want to share in the comments below what you went through, um, I, would love, I would love to hear it. Okay, so <clears throat> for those of you that are looking for a healer that uh, does the Akashic records and has different modalities uh, in healing, you can reach out to Mark. He's underneath the description box below with his website. As for me, those of you that want a one-on-one -on -one personal reading, uh, all you have to do uh, is email me, and that's also in the de description box below. And in the title, you put Montreal Reading. And I will uh, make my friend, of course, contact you to, for, to set up the appointments, okay? The scheduling and everything because there's too much for me to do uh, and I don't have time. So there's an overwhelming of emails. So <clears throat> before we get started with your actual reading, <clears throat> I am going to take out some Oracle cards, Virgos, for, for you. Uh, additional messages. Let's see. Let's look at the additional messages that are coming in for you. Your animal totem and what's the message there from the souls traveler orco okay let's see i'm going to put on my reading glasses you got answering the call some of you are answering a call, maybe, or you're answering the call. And it says here, the time is now. The door is open. You're going through the door. The time is now, Virgos. In your animal told him you got <clears throat> the bobcat. There is mystery. The message is the bobcat teaches you that there is a true power and strength in silence and patience. In order to get what you want, you must be willing to plan, adapt, and above all, have the patience to see your dreams manifest. And your additional message is number 1111, take me home. Pathway to true love. Pathway to true love, 1111. Okay, you got take me home and uh, answering the call. The time is now. There's mystery around this. Okay, so let's get started with your reading. I don't know which cards I'm going to take here. Oh, let me do the gold ones. Hold on. Okay, this card belongs here. We're going to look um, in the reading. We're going to look at your situation, what's crossing you as your challenge, uh, your immediate future, mm. your immediate future, uh, what is in from you that you're not seeing right now in your environment, and then the outcome. And I will clarify the cards. <clears throat> and after that, I will give you advice or what the universe wants you to know. All right. Virgo. Get started here. From October 30th to November 5th. What are the messages for Virgo? <clears throat> Two of Wands. Yeah, you're planning here. Making plans for the future, where you're wanting to go here, what you're trying to manifest, and there's two paths to choose from. It's not really an action card. <clears throat> What's crossing you and your challenge is the Eight of Swords. It could be some type of communication or breakthrough or clarity. In the root, you got the Strength card. Who else got this card here? I think Leo had this card here. Different deck, of course. If you, Those of you that have uh, any Leo placements, go check that out. Okay, this it's going to take uh, some inner strength. In the recent past till now, you got the Two of Swords. You're sitting on the fence about something. Okay. Um, you're in your head about something, maybe being pulled in two different directions. Again, in your strength, you got the six of swords. You're moving past this. You're moving past situations. 
Does that have been very difficult for you? Um, you're going to the next level. I see this as a transition card. Some of you might be relocating or moving. If not, it just means that better times are coming ahead, restoration and peace. In the near future, you got the King of Wands in energy. It's about taking action. You are looking into the past or this could be someone else around you. Um, there's a Leo energy. Let's look at the you position. You got the Queen of Cups. You are open to love. And what you're not seeing in your environment right now is the Seven of Pentacles. You're reevaluating everything. In the hopes and fears, you got the King of Pentacles. There's stability and prosperity here. And in the outcome, you got the Nine of Swords. There's a lot of worry, anguish, or pain. We'll see what this is all about. And in the overall, you got the Hangman. Um, something has been stagnant here. Um, reviewing everything, that's definitely. There could be stalling as well. And underneath, you got the Page of Pentacles. There's an offer coming in. Alrighty, so we're gonna clarify the cards. Let's see what's happening here for you. Okay, the cards don't want to mesh. Let's try again. One more time. Okay, let's look at the hangman. You're in your overall from October 30th to November 5th for Virgo. Okay. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Nine of Wands, Five of Swords. There's an ending here. There's many questions. There's, there's a sense that you have to take action in something. That's 100%. But there's an ending of a cycle, okay, that you're going through or you had went through, okay? So, or some of you are in the midst of going through an ending of a cycle. That's been very difficult. And there's light at the end of the tunnel, right? You want to take action towards something here with the Ace of Pentacles because there's something new, something tangible could be. But do you believe it? Um, do you have trust issues still because you're in the, you're still in the hangman position here okay so there could be trust issues in a situation here with the five of swords we'll see what this is all about but there's definitely with the ace of pentacles there's a new beginning it could be money or something tangible coming towards you <clears throat> let's look at the two of pentacles oh sorry the two of wands in your situation so the Hierophant, the Four of Swords, the Five of Swords. If this is a marriage for some of you, there's a lot of secrets in this. For some of you, if this is a marriage, it doesn't have to be a marriage. But for some of you out there, there could be something like that taking place. And uh, there's uh, trust issues and sabotaging issues and uh, not having their back, your, each other's back and a lot of like back and forth talking in a situation. I feel there's been a break here. There's been a lot of heartbreak uh, in a situation um, you know, sitting on the fence about something. It's about taking the higher road here. There's two paths to choose from. For others of you, it's just uh, having two paths to choose from. It could be belief systems are not the same anymore. Um, it's about your values and what's wrong and what's right. There's definitely someone withholding information. I mean, okay, whether it's you or someone else here. <clears throat> Almost feels like there's a blockage in, in this, in how to speak, I feel. Because I did get the Ten of Swords, so there could be an ending of a cycle that you're going through um, as a new beginning is taking place. There could be change of residency here for some uh, as well, some people as well, okay? Now let's look at the Ace of Swords as your challenge and what's crossing you. You got the Two of Cups. Ace of Wands. Two of Pentacles. I knew that the Two of Pentacles was going to come out. I got the Empress. Definitely there's new opportunities here. Uh, there is a breakthrough in the situation. There will be a breakthrough, okay? This is about seeing clarity or some type of communication here. 
you're being pulled in two different directions. It could be that you're multitasking. There's a need to stay grounded. Two, 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 right? So there could be two choices, two places. I'm not sure. But whatever it is, you're actually, you got one, two, one, two, three, four. Four twos showed up. So check out two, 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 two on your angel numbers and you're going to see if that res responds to you or corresponds to your situation here. There's a new beginning taking place, something passionate between two people, definitely. All right, look at this. You got the Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Some of you could be pulled in two different directions, but there's a new beginning here. Okay, passionate. Some type of passion is taking place. Pas passionate new beginning, some type of chemistry, or it could be towards work. I don't know what this is for you. So let's look at the strength card in your situation in the root. Page of Wands, you're being propelled forward. Ace of Cups, there's love here. Queen of Wands, Three of Wands. You're waiting for your ships to come in here. There's a new beginning, I feel. It's almost like you have an empty canvas and you could paint it as you want. Okay, there's a new beginning, passionate beginning here. You've been seeing the signs. Um, it's positive news. It's about abundance coming in. Okay. Um, something that it took you a lot in your strength, maybe in, ter in terms of your confidence, in your passion. Um, very beautiful energy. A lot of fire energy, a lot of passion here. I, there's a lot of fire energy in your chart uh, this week. Let's look at the Two of Swords in the recent past. Why is the Two of Swords here? Four of Wands, Seven of Swords. Seven of Wands, seven, seven, nines. Completions are going place in terms in home and if it's in the home, in a business or in your community, whatever it is here, there was a lot of secrets here, okay? There was a lot of defensiveness, block. I almost feel like there's a blocking energy, sitting on the fence, being in your head about something here. Choices, I feel that there was choices and you were being tested, but you were determined to move forward in a situation, determined and you had faith as you're going through completions here, okay? There's something that got tested in your home. Now, let's look at your strength. In your strength, it's about going through, better times are coming at some of you. It could be about relocating or moving or traveling. I'm not sure what this is. It could be, like I said, a transition. So let's look at the Six of Swords. Ace of Swords came on. The Moon. The world you're going to the next level yeah these two cards show me the same thing right it's like you're completing a cycle here you're moving away from something definitely something is closing out here okay and i see this as going to the next level so you could be traveling as well uh the moon card is uh, is an energy where at this time um there's something here that's not what it seems there's not actually a time when this is going to take place. Like you're going to say, well, when is this going to take place? Not sure. It, the moon card is not showing me when it's taking place. But there could be fears to this. Blocked intuition. There could be illusions at this time. So thread carefully as you go along. But you will gain clarity. There will be clarity. Okay. If there's something here, there's some type of clarity that's going to come in. You're going to see right through it. Okay. There is a breakthrough. Let's look at this Queen of Cups. Oh, no. Wait, no, first I have to look at the, your immediate future, which is the King of Wands. Let's look at this King of Wands. King of Wands is with the King of Cups. Nice. So there is someone that is looking in the past, is looking into the future as well. And with the King of Pentacles, whether it's you or someone else here, also looking in the present moment. Okay. The Lovers. The Three of Cups. There could be a reunion here. There could be a celebrations with the Ten of Cups. There could be a soulmate, a new beginning here. And it's a strong, there is a strong bond with the lovers. And it's about choices. It's about making choices. Okay, that's what has to take place. Let's look at, the, so I do have the King and Queen of Cups. There is love here. I also got the King and Queen of Wands. There's passion. Let's look at the Queen of Cups in the U position. King of Pentacles shows up again. The Wheel of Fortune. The Two of Wands. There's two paths that you need to choose from. A lot of you have been very independent, working on yourself, very self-sufficient. There's prosperity here. There's definitely prosperity here. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is coming in. Jupiter is coming in here. 
there's something that's destined and faded. Karma and luck. Are you going to seize the moment? With the two of wands, as you're making plans, you're, it's still not an action card. It's a, it's a slow moving, it's like slow moving, uh, but definitely at crossroads. Let's look at the seven of pentacles and what you're not seeing at this time. You are at crossroads, you're reevaluating everything, how much hard work and whatever you put into uh, here. <clears throat> You've been patient. So let's see what the seven of pentacles is all about. Ten of cups. Page of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. There's something long term here. The sun is shining on this. Okay, and justice is here for you, Karma. This is the also the solar eclipse in uh, Libra. Something shifted here for you. There's gonna be some type of communication, fresh ideas taking place, okay, or ideas towards work, towards love, whatever this is, there's happiness here. There could be con feeling content and grateful. There is a soulmate connection. There's something, there's a strong foundation. I see collaboration and teamwork as well. Let's look at the King of Pentacles because you got that twice in your reading, Virgo, as your hopes and fears. You want something stable? <clears throat> the Fool, the Seven of Pentacles, Judgment, yeah. Eight of Wands. Things are starting to, <clears throat> things are going to start getting aligned and everything's going to fall into place and there's going to be some, a lot of energy of messages coming in. Um, as you're reevaluating again with the Seven of Pentacles and the Crossroads, they're asking you to make a judgment and to take a leap of faith here. Let's look at the Nine of Swords in the outcome. Five of Cups, Two of Swords, Three of Swords. The sun is shining on you. Things are going to start aligning. I feel here that you're you're still releasing pain, anguish, grief, disappointment in a situation here. You're still holding on to something here. And you're still sitting on the fence about something. It's about finding the silver lining. You're focused on things that went wrong, but what Spirit is saying is that so you haven't noticed that behind you, there's two cups that are still standing here. So you have your back turned to this. Okay, so while you're going through this and as you're completing, because you're going through so many ch changes here, all right, because there's a huge shift that's taking place, the sun will be shining on you again. So this is about positive times and positive vibes. Okay. Now we're going to take advice from the universe, see what universe wants to tell you here for Virgo, October 30th to November 5th. The Emperor, the Nine of Wands, the King of Cups, Justice, Oof. the Magician, Nine of Pentacles. The Hierophant. It's about taking the higher road here. You've been tested. That's what universe is saying. You've been tested. You're going through your completion. You're still releasing. There's a lot of things going on for you, Virgo. Okay, in uh, from October 30th to November 5th. Okay, but there's also positive things taking place for you. Uh, it's about you taking that leap of faith. But you still have a lot of pain. I understand, and something is still not clear. But you will gain the clarity. Um, I do see that uh, you've been manifesting. And you, you're very, you know, you, you've been taking care of yourself. You've been nurturing yourself. But the main thing here is that what came out, came out is that justice is here for you. Karma. Something is coming into balance. It's about you taking action. You have everything that it takes here. Because you manifested this. So it's a yeah. I hope that this helped you, Virgo. And um, anyways, I'll see you soon. Bye.